Hello. Hi, it's Liz here and I'm back with my cheese box. I have added another few pages to the box. This time I have made it a sewing theme. I have stamped, watercoloured, added a little bit of fabric and on the back there is some vintage sewing um, from a sewing pattern and I've added a little cute button <laughs> to the end. How cute is that? And again, just like this one, which opens in a kind of accordion style, this one does the same. I'm really happy with how it's turning out and I'm going to add another, another piece, another page and we'll do that together. So let's just pop that over there just now and I have, now let me show you what's, I've got all my bits, I've got my ink, my paints and it's this stamp set here, it's Stampers Anonymous Mini Blueprints 3 CMS150 and that is where Here's the sewing reel there, the thread reel, uh, the mannequin and the pink sewing machine because your sewing machine has to be pink. Um, and then the one that we're going to use is the scissors. So in here you also get a camera, a light bulb, a compass, a key, a lock, a plane, a globe and some gear. So it's a really quite a handy set. Um, I use it quite often. It's a nice wee size. So I'm going to stamp on a circle of this watercolour paper. It's mixed media paper but it takes watercolour. So we're going to use that to stamp on. I'm going to use my all new paint set which are watercolours. Gorgeous paint set. I'm going to stamp the little pieces for the back and a little bit to attach on to the rest of the book and we will just attach the stamp to the acrylic block and versafine because I am going to be using some water um, to colour and this won't run some inks will run so you have to be careful about which ink pad you use. Oh, you'll see I've also added a little feature of what colours I've used. Um, we'll do that in this one as well. I think it's just a, a little added feature. So that's the scissors. And we can put our ink away now. And I've got my I always have a little spare piece of the watercolour card a tissue paper and some water here we are, the missing link <laughs> so I think we'll just do this I think is that the black there? Yes, so just a little bit of black just to make this, just to add a little bit of silver colour to the scissors. And I'm doing it actually quite rough and going over the edges so that I've got a kind of watercolour effect. If you do it right to, and that's the colour I used just to smoosh a wee bit of background. If you do water, I always think anyway, this is my view, I'm not sure if that's right or wrong, doesn't matter, but I always think watercolour should have, let's move the water out of the way from you, a, a kind of smooshy look, a kind of not quite completely coloured in kind of look, if you know what I mean.
There we are. Right, and we'll just do our two squares. So it was... Oh, that black is really black now. Let's just add... Pick up a little bit from there and do a square. And then we'll do a square of the blue. And it just adds a wee feature, doesn't it? I'm going to add a, just a touch more of the black to the scissors where the cross hatching is would be where you would add a little bit more colour. There. Grand. So that's us done. We can move the water out of the way. And you can see where I was trying my pen. I was, I've got a few of these fine liners and some of them work better than others. And I can put the paints away. And once that's dry, we can do our little bit of black round the squares just to make them stand out. So next we've got uh, just a circle of fabric. And we're just going to layer this up. And then stitch around. I just did a little running stitch around and leave some threads. I quite like that to leave the threads a bit loose. And then we've got a little bit of a hinge. So let's ruffle up. Ruffle up, is that? Let's take some threads off the edges. I cut this with just my um, circle die. It worked really well. You know, and I think that's actually a first in all these years. I don't think I've used a die to cut fabric. But then in my previous crafty life, I only really made cards. Junk journaling and is, or this style of journaling is fairly new to me, about a year. I did journal, but I used um, pre-made journals and did collage in them and did a daily journal entry in my Hobonichi. But now, totally into this style of thing. <laughs> right, which side? Doesn't matter, does it? Maybe that side with a little bit of pattern on it. So all I'm going to do is just use my glue stick. Because we're going to sew round, I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. Um, just to hold it while it's going to put it through the machine. We decided on that side. And that there. And then we're going to hinge it on to here. we want just to have a dab of glue there because that will get caught with the sewing machine and then we'll attach it on to that one maybe just using the fabric tack because that's already had a stitch round so we're ready to go to the sewing machine that's dry. Let's just do our square. See how that makes a difference? So that's a, what is it? A Tombow calligraphy pen. It doesn't have a number. Nope just says Tombow but it's fine without being too fine 
and it's got a bendy nib so it's, it is a calligraphy pen but anyway <laughs> okay let's uh, take this to the sewing machine give it its final touch and I'll be back that's it stitched around um, yeah stitch this bit in this little hinge and we're just going to attach the hinge to this piece here so we'll just lift that up a little bit I've got my three in one here which I'm keeping upside down now because it's nearly finished need to get some more need to treat myself <laughs> Right, and we're going over here. We'll just put a little dab in there. Get it the right way round. That just looks like it's been stitched in there, even although it hasn't. That can be our secret. <laughs> okay. I think that's me done with my little sewing journaly addition to my cheese box. Um, I did put a sheet in the bottom. I think one of my subscribers left up a, a comment about putting a a piece on the bottom so I did that and um, that's the the butterflies and that's the sewing now I want that to be on the top so we'll do it that way and that's filled it up quite nicely there's maybe room for one more <laughs> I don't know what my next subject might be. I've got butterflies and I've got sewing. What do you think? <laughs> if you can think of something, let me know and I'll see if I've got the stash to do any suggestions that you might make. Happy to do that. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there for today. That was nice and quick and easy. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.